Well, we have two uh, types of products from our friends at Hunky Dory. There are quick cards, and this is something new. So we have them for him, for her, and for the kids. We also have what Hunky Dory calls a concept card. And that means that all 12 cards that can be made follow the same process. However, Heidi has a trick for us. And I'd love to have you see that and come play with us. Well, we're gonna start with the Home Sweet Home concept card kit. As I said, it can make 12 cards. And I'm going to start off with just the process that Hunky Dory shares in the package. So here are the step-by-steps. Let me put that aside. And let me show you the finished card, which it lies flat like this, but then it pops up to become a very involved easel card. And let me show you. You can see, so we've got these pieces standing up front. You can write your message in the back of it. So that's all also um, uh, printed for you. And then on the inside, you've got kind of an area that's all ready for you to write a message. So very fun. Now, these um, do come with envelopes, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's nice. So let me just show you the process. And let me start with this. So here is the card bases, and they are labeled card bases, so that makes it easy. And you just pop them out like everything that Hunky Dory does. Um, it is ready to go. You just pop it out. And let me just show you also. So there's that piece, and then there's also another piece that's going to give us, so this is the card base then this is the decorations, so to speak. So you can see that this, with that purple heart, is going to be on the front of the card. Then we have this that has all of the embellishments, so layering of the um, arch there, as well as all the, the door, all kinds of things that you can add to it. So all of that is just part of the package. and. Again, let me show you. And I said that the step-by-steps are right here. So you take this, and there are score lines, and you're going to fold those score lines. So this is going to be in a mountain fold, then a valley fold, then another valley fold followed by a mountain fold, a valley, and a mountain. Okay, and you can see it very well right here. Now you will need extra sticky tape because this little mountain right there, we need that to stick together. So you're going to use the extra sticky tape there to uh, make that happen. And then this is going to become one of the pieces. And this, this last little lap, that's going to go behind. So let me hold that together just to demonstrate. That's going to go underneath, and it really secures that. You can see it overlaps that little mountain that gets created. So that's going to happen, and this is going to fold down. And then you're going to take that, um, that front door piece, and you're going to glue it right here. And you can see that on the finish card. So let me get these set aside so that you can see that. So that little piece just is holding that door. And then you can foam tape the door. It says playhouse, as I said, the um, arch up there, the windows. There are little things to go into the planter, if you like. And then on that front piece, you can also foam tape pieces. And you can see what Heidi has done with the little chairs and that little bucket. So just all kinds of things, plus the grass um, for a very special little girl, this says. And then there's a picket fence right behind here. So as I said, all of that is going to rest and hold that easel card upright. And I think it's very clever that they have made this area so that you can write a message there. So that's nice. And it just folds beautifully. So those are the steps. Now, I will tell you that Heidi decided to do a second version. Let me get this in here. And in this, 
she is also following the steps, except she has placed this on a uh, side step card, and she created the card using our cutting die. Just makes it work really nicely. We have this as a cutting die. We also have this same style as die cut cards, so you have your choice. And that is what she has used. So it just creates a really nice card. Um, so you're not gonna follow the mechanism of the um, uh, concept card kit, but you have all the pieces and all the goodies. So let me show you what she has done. So she has die cut this out of white cardstock, and that just does a nice job. Then she took, and let me show you. So I've got some notes on here. And the first step, she's going to take this stripe and glue it to, whoops, okay, stay there. It looks like we need another piece of tape. That is going to go behind the step, okay? So just that top part. So there's a score line there, you just trim it. Then to create the stripes or to get the stripes on this step, you're going to use the second piece and you're gonna trim it to fit. So that's pretty easy. Now, on the bottom of the uh, card, you're going to see that this, on the back side of this, where we haven't used them, there's some grass. So we're gonna have one part of it here and another part of it right here and then another part of the grass on this back step, okay? So the back step is the one that's going to have the score lines, but they get hidden by the step itself. So you just get all of those in there to fit nicely, and that's how that works. Then you have this top part, which is, that's the back side of it that you can use. However, what Heidi did is she went into this sheet. This is the card front, number one, and you can see that this piece is going to go right here. We have um, some greetings to the man in my life is right here. And there is another sheet, oh my goodness, you see you've got lots and lots of die cuts, foil die cuts. There is the door that gets uh, foam taped. Do not disturb right here. On your special day, that was on the other sheet, you see there is also a fence here that's foiled, and we also have the wheelbarrow, the lawn chair, the lawn mower, um, some beer, should that be worthwhile, and also some of these plants, so that works nicely. Now, for the inside, she elected to use the um, wood and woodland six by six papers and you can see this has lots of uh, wood and woodland she elected to use the green wood and she has just placed it right on the inside and then she added the wood and woodland die cuts to add this sweet little raccoon and you make life special this is glued on top and this uh, raccoon is foam tape so that completes the card now um, the cards that come in the kit, let me just double check, um, they will not hold this card, so you are going to need a bit larger card or envelope for this, so um, that's just what makes that work nicely. So it's nice to know that you can follow the concept literally, or you can do your own thing, and I think that works really nicely. Okay, now let's get into our next set, which is coming from the Quick Cards. Now the Quick Cards, as I said, are a newer format. I've not been familiar with it from Hunky Dory, but what it says is it too will make, or it will make 16 cards. The first one will make 12, and you will need envelopes, so that's something that you'll need. But let me show you how each of the sheets how it comes and each of the sheets is um, different so let me show you this first one so this is called a wheelie good day w-h-e-e-l-i-e -E -E, good day there's the card base there's some foil die cuts all over you can see but once again Heidi has done something different which I absolutely love and here this is the card. Now it measures six by four, 
and it is scored right here, which means that you will want a bone folder just to, you, you do need to cut this out super easy because it's all straight lines. And then the score line, you want to fold it so that you have that uh, really pretty red stars on the front. And then go over your fold line or score line with the bone folder. That will just make it nice and crisp. Now, what Heidi did, clever girl, is she took the blue star area. Now this is the part that you throw away, right? Because it's just holding all the other pieces. But she die, or she cut it in quarter inch pieces. And then she placed them, you can see on the front of the card. So um, because you, you probably don't have enough to do all of them in one piece, but you can cut these into, oh, two to three inch long pieces and just, you know, pick, put one there, one here, one here, one here, and then fill in the other's pieces. And that just makes that starburst effect, which is really fun, especially for something that is um, moving like a motorcycle would be. So that was the first step, very clever lady. And then what she did was to take the thin line dazzles. Now you can see, I think, as we get in closer perhaps, here we go, that um, they're right down here in that purple area. Um, she also put them in between those blue stars. So they're just doing a nice job of filling in that area. Now, the, um, the star border that's there, she put the cherry crystals and just put dollops of our um, specialist glue just right there and then just placed the crystals. They'll work nicely. And that worked quite well. Then for the focal of her card, it too is on that one sheet. So it's just one sheet per card. Right here, you're gonna foam tape that up. You're going to attach this. Now this is gonna be foam taped on this side, but glued on this side. Same thing with this. Glued on this side, foam taped on that side. So it's flat, so both of them are flat. So that worked quite nicely. Then she added the uh, studs. These are the silver studs, very, very popular with our folks. And that just, you can see it on the corners of that topper, just really plays well with all the silver finishes. Speaking of silver, she tied a knot in uh, the silver ribbon, which is from our gold and silver set. And that completes the front of her card, but she's not done. Of course, the inside of her card, look what she's done. So she took one of the borders, and this is the star border off the uh, topper set, and glued it right there. And then she went back to the thin line dazzles and placed three of them, all three different, just right above that piece. And she's got them kind of at an angle, kind of mirroring what's happening on the front. Then she has a foam taped this, ta this um, tag, glued this one down. She added more of these studs. But then she's got these crystals and then she has a cascade of stars. And these stars are from our star dazzles. It comes in a package with gold and silver. Obviously she has silver in the corner and they just cascade down and kind of go up like that and really nice. Another knotted silver bow right there and that's zotted in place and that finishes this, this card very easily. I think quick cards, even if you wanna do some extra embellishing is really nice. Well, of course you're gonna do extra embellishing. I know about you. <laughs> okay, now we're going to shift to the next one which is quick cards for her. This time also, Heidi did some extra bonus things. So let me show you. Here is the card. And this, she's turned it into a gatefold card. And isn't that just rich and luscious? And opening it up like that. So just very, very pretty. Now, to do this, she has done a couple of tricks, as you might imagine. Now, she began with our, our standard cards. They are the five by six and a half inch cards, but they come flat. That's gonna work perfectly here because 
she took the scoreboard, let me pull the bone folder up, and from the left side, scored down the two and a half inch, so just like this. And then she went over to seven and a half inches and scored that. Now what that does is it's going to give us the card. So I'm going to fold that in, use the bone folder to fold that flat, and do the same thing on the other side. And they will meet in the center as they're supposed to. So that becomes the card base. Now, you do have a card base on the um, sheet, right? You can see that there. You do want to cut that out, but Heidi has some other ideas for this. So what she did is she cut that out, and then she cut right down the score line. Okay, so that gives you two pieces. The first piece is going to get cut in half, and we're going to use that on the front of the card. But first, we're going to get a background for it. And the background that she chose to go with this is the Luscious Lace 6x6. Now, you saw this earlier this year when we launched it. And she uses actually the first sheet in it. So it's got the green background and the purple lace. So she cut a piece. By the way, all the measurements are down below. Just click on the card and you will be taken to those measurements. Uh, those instructions, you can print them off if you like, so that's gonna work nicely. So what she did is she cut a piece and then cut it in half, and that way you know you've got two pieces the exact same size, only one time to measure. So glued those down, and then she um, took one of these pieces, so she had two pieces, right? So then she took one of them and cut it in half. That's going to be a piece onto each of the gates of the gatefold. She did mat them on the uh, Mary Gold, you know, this wonderful. We have the gold um, metallic and we have the Mary Gold. They're both just two kind of t ways you can get the gold look. And you can see how beautifully that um, finishes this card. However, we're not done. Now, she did add our fancy border dazzles. And boy, you can really see them on that burgundy um, color. So this is a package. It has, let me see, it has 96 fancy border dazzles. And isn't that striking? Yes, it is. Okay, so that is on each side. Then when you have a gatefold, as you probably know, you want to be sure to attach things to only one side of the gate so that you can open that little puppy. So we're going to foam tape this topper in place. And we're also going to attach this uh, born to stand out, which is quite perfect for a, a peacock. She did use um, the blue ribbon pack and the bow, fold, bow maker. Now, if you're not sure how to use the bow maker, I did a little demo, so just go to the, pay, the product page and you'll see the demo there. Super, super easy, and it makes a perfect bow every time. And then on this side, we've just glued down one of these. It's, uh, it's your birthday, born to stand out, it's your birthday. So these three are all attached only to the left gate. Then on the inside, well, on the inside, she used another piece of the luscious lace. It is the light blue background and just glued that inside. It covers up the score line, so that's really nice. And then she took that second piece, that piece that's still whole, and glued that uh, onto the Miri, matted it, and then placed it here. This is another of the fancy border dazzles. This is um, the border that you have right here has been glued across, the little greeting for a special friend, and then foam taped a peacock and a teeny tiny bow right there. So just beautiful, really, really nice. So I think it's really fun to see that you can do exactly what the instructions say, but it's even more fun to do your own thing or do what I do and follow Heidi. That works well. Okay, we have one more, and this is called 
quick cards for the kids. Now, I do have to tell you that I ordered a little bit lighter uh, quantity of these. So if this is something you're interested in, you might want to grab that soon. Just wanted to tell you, no, no secrets from you. And Heidi did a slimline card, which I think is really, really smart. So let me show you the sheet that she used. And this is the one that comes out of the package. So this is called Love and Smiles, very cute. You can see that absolutely darling little bee. And there is the card. Again, you're going to cut it out. But what Heidi has done is something different, and I think it's pretty brilliant. So she took, cut that out, okay, step one. Then she fussy cut right along that little border because she's going to use that in pieces. Then she took this yellow stripe and she cut a piece that's three by eight inches. That is going to fit on the front of her card, but she matted it once again using that Mary Gold. So you can see how that is flashing quite nicely on the front. Okay, and then that gets glued to the front of her slim line. Because there is going to be a score line, I thought it was really smart that she took the border, and this is the one with all of the roses, and placed it, glued it right over that score line. So that way, even though just a little bit would show, this way nothing shows, so it's all covered up. Now, the fancy cut border, that was foam taped at the top and at the bottom, so that does a nice job of framing the card. Of course, that little B is foam taped on top, and just for you, that is also foam taped right there. She did use the um, magenta and dark pink ribbons and the bow maker to do that bow, which is zotted right underneath the B. Then she brought in the um, crystals. These are the pink shimmer sparkles from Hunky Dory. And you just place them there, there. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're there into those very pale roses. So that works nicely. Then going into the back, she used uh, some cardstock from the Tulips and Butterflies collection and cut a piece to fit, then glued another of the border. This isn't foam tape, this is glued down. Added a border that's from the topper sheet. The tiny border there, tiny flowers, then the floral border going this way. Foam tape the greeting, and foam taped the two little tags down there. Added the bows and the crystals, and you've got a really nice space to send a message. So. With these quick cards, you can do exactly what the directions show, which is pretty much what she did here with a few little snazzies. But you can also make gatefold. You can use any of your die cuts to make a special card. You can do the slimline cards, or you can also go into the um, concept cards, and again, you can do your own thing with it. So it's very fun. So Home Sweet Home is the name of the concept card. Quick cards for kids, quick cards for her, and quick cards for him. Well, that fills my whole space. And uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this. So many things that you can do with these. Um, if you are watching us on YouTube, we hope that you will like us. We hope that you will subscribe, and we hope you're going to head on over to paperwishes.com. We have a money saver with all four of these together and some savings for you. We also have the instructions down below. Just click on the card, and it will take you to those instructions, and that will take care of it for you. You can print them out if you like. As always, thank you, Heidi, for a great job. Thank you, Hunky Dory, for great products. And thank you for being a part of our Paper Wishes family. See you next time.